Hello everyone, my name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to bhptrainings.com. This is my first video in this series of Python and in, in today's tutorial I will be going to demonstrate you how to download and install Python version 3.4.3 on your desktop. So in order to do that, first of all, we need to download the Python installer. So to download the Python installer, you need to visit www.python.org. So Python is a freely available programming tool. So you can download Python version 3.4.3 according to your operating system. Because I'm using Windows operating system and working on Windows operating system, so I have downloaded Windows operating system. If you are using Linux, UX, Unix, or Mac OS, or any other operating system, you need to download or you need to look for the appropriate version of your operating system. So after I downloaded the installer, I will get the MSI file. So that's my MSI file. And I need to double click to install it. Then click on run. After you click on run, you will get an option install for all users or install just for me. So I'll go with the install for all users because I want that anybody who is using my system or all the users who all are accessing my system, they can they can work on Python. So I click on next. Then it will ask for the directory. Where would I like to set up the Python installing installation files? So I would like to my Python 3.4.3 version will be installed on C drive. So it will create a folder in C drive in the as a name of Python 34. If you want to change it, if you want to change the location, you can do it from here. And next, select the way you want features to be installed. So I want in the same feature in the same sequence. So I'll go with next and just wait for the installation to be finished. So as you can see here installation is in progress and it is copying the file on the same folder on C drive. So you can see here I have got a confirmation message that the Python has been installer has been the Python has been installed successfully on my system. So I clicked on finish and on I, on my programs when I click on programs I can see a program file has been added as a Python 3.4. And I can get here ideally that is the Python 3.4 GUI that is the interface to write Python program. This is the command line. So let's start with this ID that is the Python ID to write the Python codes. So you can see here that's the power that the Python shell and here we can write our Python program. So if I would like to write a simple program of Python so I write here simple I just want to print my name or just print hello world so I write print hello world they should be go within the parenthesis and enter so you can see it has print the hello world now to in order to write long programs we can create our own files as well so I click on file and click on new file and we can write the programs here like print hello world and when I press enter you can see it has not displayed any output because it's a file so it's a Python file so we can write multiple writes in it so long programs can go within it so I write how are you and and so on so once it is done we can simply save it or you can directly run it as well so when you direct if you when you directly run it f5 it will ask you to save it so I click on ok and I save this file as my program and the extension will be .py. .py stands for Python and save it. And you can see the output here as well. Hello world, how are you? And next time, if you want to share the code with your friends or with somebody else, you can see here, that's the Python file. The, the code, the file which we created just now my program and the extension is .py. And so we can share this Python code with users as well. So this is the way how we can write a Python program in a shell. In, order, in same way, if you want to write the Python program in a command line, so we have here the predefined command line for the Python. So you can see it's already logged in into this Python shell, and we, I can simply write a command print hello world. And same way, if I would like to print uh, 
loop so i simply write here count is equal to 0 and while but if we write a program if we write a loop or long programs in this command shell so it, it may be we can make some mistake and it will not be easy to write a program here so that's why in order to do same we can use the file we can use the python file or the python code or we can directly type a code here as well so i'm going to do same thing i'm going to open that python program which i created just now my program and i'll just modify this and i write here count is equal to zero and here i write simple while count less than nine and print count is count and count is equal to count plus one so you can see here i have right on the code now after the code is done i'm going to save it so i'll simply save it and simply click on run or you can directly press f5 key as well and after i press the f5 key the program will execute and i can see the output so you can see here i have pressed the out uh, i have pressed the f5 key and i have executed the i have run the python program and i can see the output here so the loop runs from zero and ends with ends at the eight because it is less than nine so it prints the value from zero to eight so that's how we can download and set up python on our system on our desktop how we can write a very basic program in python by using the powershell the python shell as well as the python command shell that's all in this video in my next consecutive videos i will be going to come up with some new programs or new topics in python so if you have any queries you can visit our website www.bisptrainings.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on python or you can visit our website as well as you can contact us for the training on python that's all have a nice day ahead goodbye